Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Issue Academy, day number one. We will be talking about how to create and optimize your issue content. My name is Jana, and I will walk you through today's topic. The same for tomorrow. So tomorrow we will be talking about how to share and analyze it. So I can see more and more of you are joining. This is perfect. So let's get uh, started. The Issue Academy is uh, a weekly workshop that we have divided in two different topics. The first one is how to create and optimize your content. We will be talking today about how to create your document, how to enhance it with links and videos, and how to also recreate it and optimize it into uh, different uh, kinds of formats that we have available on issue. So you can, for example, learn how to recreate your content into GIFs, into article stories, into visual stories. We will also be talking about uh, just the, the basic core uh, functionalities of sharing on issue that we will be covering tomorrow. So uh, tomorrow you will hear about how to share and analyze your content. So every Wednesday, we are covering the topics of, uh, of sharing, which is also the ability to take your flipbook, embed it on your website, or share it in full screen. Tomorrow, we will also touch statistics, but uh, let's get started with the topics that we have uh, for today. Also, some housekeeping items. You will all be muted throughout the workshop, but in case you have any questions, please ask by clicking on this uh, Q&A icon and then type in your question. I will be happy to answer these throughout the workshop, but uh, also if there are any questions uh, not answered at the very end, I will get to these at the very end. So the agenda for today, um, create and optimize is the topic of today's workshop. So we will be talking about how to create your documents. First, you might have your own documents already uh, ready to upload uh, on issue. You might already be an existing issue customer. That's also possible, uh, but uh, I, very much like to use this uh, for onboarding uh, purposes as well. So I will just briefly explain uh, what are all the other options where you can create your, your documents, your PDF, because that's the only thing that you actually need to start using issue. You need uh, the PDF, uh, the document. So I will, I will very shortly cover the issue templates that we have uh, available on platform. And then I will also talk a bit about uh, Canva because we recently released an integration between Canva and issue. And then in the second part, I would like to talk about how to optimize your content. First, how to optimize it with links. So you have this ability to add links inside of your publication either before you upload the PDF on issue, or you can do it also afterwards. We also have this ability to have videos inside of the publications. These have to be hosted either on YouTube or Vimeo. So I will also show you how to, how to achieve that. And, and then in the second part of the optimization um, section uh, of this workshop, we will be talking about uh, how to create the other assets. So it doesn't have to be uh, just the PDF. You can recreate this one into a GIF. You can do all these things on issue. So you can create the, recreate the, your PDF into a GIF, and you can also recreate this publication into article stories, which are like smaller sections of your publications that you can also share. And then I will also show you how to recreate these into, into visual stories. We are offering 30% off um, for anyone who is interested in our premium plan. So for the first year, you can get 30% off for your for your premium plan, I will be. I will always mention what the premium features are. But just uh, looking at uh, at this, it would be the ability to add videos directly on the pages, so they can also autoplay. That's one of the premium features. We also have um, auto detection of links. Uh, so then I when I will be in the tool and explaining more about about links, uh, I will also mention uh, what is the premium uh, feature in here. Uh, the other optimized assets, GIFs, article stories, and visual stories are available on all plans. But uh, let's get started with uh, how to how to create <coughs> sorry how to create your your document. So. Uh, in case you don't have your own document uh, yet, we have uh, eleven issue templates available for free on issue. You have a book, magazine, portfolio, catalog, menu, manual, uh, newsletter, and uh, and some other. 
uh, in case you like one of them, you can preview them. In case you like uh, one of them, you can easily download it and then you can edit these either with Keynote, uh, Google Slides or, um, or PowerPoint. And then once you, you finish uh, the editing, so you can, for example, replace the images, uh, uh, replace the text, uh, edit everything you want. And once you are done, you can easily um, upload the publication back on issue and start uh, from there. So either you can use one of the issue templates if you don't have your own PDF, uh, your, own, uh, your own document. You can also use Canva. So we have this integration <clears throat> with Canva so you can easily create the PDF and then uh, with the issue integration you can easily uh, get the publication straight to issue. So uh, the benefit of this is that you do not need to download the publication uh, to your own device but you can send it uh, straight uh, directly to, uh, to issue. I will show you how to when I'm uh, demoing everything in the tool. So these are the ways of uh, how you can create your content in case, uh, for example, InDesign is way too complex for you, uh, I would suggest using either uh, our own templates or Canva. Uh, and Canva has uh, hundreds of templates uh, for uh, anything you uh, need to create. Also, some other tips uh, for preparing your document for upload. And here are all the accepted file types uh, listed. And uh, remember that the issue reader is responsive, so it adapts to various sizes of the pages. You can upload something in, uh, in square format or with, uh, with a different ratio. Uh, you can also upload a presentation, for example. Uh, of course, you can uh, upload something with the ratio of um, magazine size uh, pages. Uh, issue reader uh, adapts to, to everything. And also, you can read uh, everything once uploaded on issue. You can read it on uh, various screens. So you can read this uh, content on desktop as well as on, on mobile screens. One important thing is the, to uh, have the correct layout. So remember to upload your publication in single page layout. Do not upload it as uh, double page spreads because then it will appear, uh, that then it will result in four pages uh, spread. So here on the left side, you can see how is the correct uh, layout, uh, how does how it should look like, not the one on the right side. If you upload the one on the right side that already has the double page uh, spread layout, it will result in four pages, which you probably do not want uh, to have. Some other best practices, make sure that your document opens with no problems, that it is not password protected or anyhow user restricted. And the image resolution can be up to 150 dots per inch and a higher re resolution will be scaled down. In case you have hyperlinks inside of your PDF, great. These will be um, detected once uploaded, uh, once you upload the PDF uh, on issue. So that's available for all plans in case there's a clickable link in the PDF, it will also be clickable on issue. For those of you who are using InDesign and you might be unsure about uh, the correct uh, settings when exporting the document, we have InDesign issue export preset. So you can download this one and, uh, and then just uh, use it when exporting the, the PDF um, um, when you are done uh, with your PDF in, in, in design. So just uh, use this preset and every, everything will be optimized for, uh, for issue. Then another tip when uploading uh, your PDF, uh, the title that uh, the PDF has on your device will be used in the URL. So that's also something to remember. So just make sure that uh, the title doesn't say uh, proof it or final version or uh, anything like that, because then it will appear in the URL. So in this case, uh, the title of uh, my publication of my PDF is Issue Arts Mac, and you can also see that it has been used in the, in the URL. This cannot be changed later on, so uh, it's good to remember this before you upload the publication on Issue. So that's uh, how to create uh, the PDF. We will also be talking about how to create all the other assets once you upload the PDF on issue. But uh, let me talk a bit uh, more about um, optimizing your content with links and videos to make it more interactive and more dynamic, right? So there are two ways of adding uh, links inside of your publication. The first one is before you upload the publication on issue. So you can either at uh, the links inside of the PDF. So here um, on, this, uh, on this slide, uh, you can see that uh, I'm adding uh, the link uh, in, uh, in Canva. 
so uh, all these links that are added directly in the PDF will then be detected. We also have, uh, it is here under 1B, we also have this feature called auto-detected links. This basically means that in case you just type in the website address or the email address inside of the PDF, it is just typed in, it is not hyperlinked, it is not clickable yet in the PDF. What we can do on issue is we can, uh, or the system itself can detect these links. So um, this can also make your life a bit easier, of course, depending on your content. But I can imagine there might be some kind of content where you have hundreds of emails that you would like to be clickable. So if someone clicks on them um, uh, and um, uh, their email provider uh, will be open. So uh, for that, we can make this happen uh, with the, the auto-detected links. The auto-detected links is available only on premium plans uh, and optimum, so you would need to be on premium in order for us uh, to auto-detect these uh, email addresses and websites in case it is there, it is appearing only as a text uh, in, the, in the PDF. So this is how to add links uh, before uploading on issue. You also have this possibility that uh, you take the PDF, you upload it on issue, and with our uh, issue link editor, you will be able to add uh, hyperlinks to add videos. Uh, these have to be hosted on YouTube or Vimeo, and these can play either in overlay or directly on the page. That's premium. Again, that's a premium feature. And if it plays uh, directly on the page, it can also autoplay. So directly when someone uh, lands on that uh, on that page, uh, the video can uh, can autoplay. We also have uh, the ability to add shopping links. This is basically just a link with a shopping cart icon over it. And we have a uh, table of content links. Um, these uh, go to page. So if someone is on your table of content, for example, um, if they hover over a certain page, uh, they can be sent directly to that particular page. So this can be, this is easier for them to get uh, directly to where they want to, to go and tweet. One note is so that uh, in case you add these um, additional uh, links uh, on issue, uh, then if you re-upload the publication, because that can also happen uh, for example, you spot a typo in your publication or uh, there is a price that you need to, to update. You would need to update uh, everything uh, outside of issue in that particular uh, PDF or in that particular editor. And uh, you will be able to re-upload the publication so it keeps the, the same link in case you, for example, shared it. It keeps the statistics. Unfortunately, uh, all these links that you edit um, after on issue with the issue link editor will be removed. Uh, we are considering uh, having this enabled at some point that you can keep these links, but currently it is not possible. So just uh, make sure and, uh, and think before you start adding the links uh, that in case you ever need to re-upload the publication, you know, um, update the content, uh, fix the typo, for example, these links that were added after uh, on issue will be deleted and you would need to add these again. So that's how to add links and uh, how to add videos. Uh, and uh, the other uh, way of how we can optimize your content, again, make it more interactive, make it more dynamic, find uh, your audience on different channels, for example, right? Uh, you can recreate uh, your content into different formats, different assets. You can recreate your content into GIF, which is a short uh, looping video. It works like a teaser. Uh, you can also recreate your publication into article story. You can create as many as you want. These article stories are uh, basically smaller sections uh, of your publication. And uh, you can also recreate your content into a visual story. Visual story is a video teaser that uh, is in this format, uh, the one here on the right side. And you can either share this one as a link or uh, you can also share it as MP4. But uh, let's, uh, let's start uh, and uh, talk about each of them one by one. So GIF, again, it is a short looping video. You can create uh, this one on all plans on issue. You can customize the background color and uh, you can then download it either as a GIF or MP4. And the channels where you can use these is, for example, Instagram feed. Uh, you can also put it on your website. Uh, or you can share it in, in your newsletter. We have an integration with MailChimp, so you can easily create this GIF, send it to your MailChimp uh, content uh, library, and then use it for your uh, next uh, newsletter campaign. 
So this is a GIF. Uh, we also have article stories, these smaller individual pieces of your publication, these smaller sections. Again, it is available on all plans. Uh, this feature, you share it in the format of a link. Uh, it is um, it is beneficial because it is not just the link to the entire publication anymore, but you can create as many of these as you want. So just imagine there is uh, something that uh, hasn't been featured on the cover page um, of your publication, for example, uh, and uh, you would still like to share this information uh, within your audience. So this is a great way to uh, go and uh, create this particular smaller individual piece of your annual report, uh, let's say of your catalog, for example, of your lookbook. And, uh, and then you can use um, a different title, right? And, um, and then share it across social media, for example, because you can share it as a link, or you can edit as a link to your newsletter, for example. These article stories are also visible under your issue profile. If someone checks the box, uh, uh, show me stories inside, uh, they can also see all the stories uh, that uh, you have created. And uh, these article stories are also available under the flipbook on issue.com. So if someone visits your um, your publication on issue.com, all these article stories are listed below. So it also works as some kind of uh, table of content. So these are article stories and visual stories. Uh, you can see motion graphic video, um, video teaser that you can, again, use. Uh, and our users use these mainly on Instagram stories, Facebook stories. You can use this one on uh, Pinterest as well, or TikTok. Uh, and the format to share your visual stories is either as a link or you can also share this one as uh, mp4. So once you create uh, the visual story, you can download it as, uh, as mp4 and share it, for example, on Instagram or on Facebook. So let's get started with, uh, with, the, doc, with the live demo. Let me see if there are any, any questions. So there's a question, uh, how many visual stories can I create? So again, we don't have any limitation on the amount of visual stories, you can create as many, um, as many as you want. And once you create these, these are all stored on your issue account. So you can go back and uh, basically use, uh, use issue as a library of all, these, uh, of all these assets. So let me now jump to uh, my test account to uh, show you everything in this, uh, in a live demo on my test account. So here we are, here are all the templates that we have uh, book, magazine, portfolio, catalog, and some others. Uh, so in case you don't have any content uh, yet, or if you are considering, for example, uh, starting a um, in an annual report for your organization, for example, or let me actually show you, uh, I wanted to um, demo everything with the portfolio today. So in here, you can preview uh, the template, uh, how, it, uh, how it looks like. Uh, so uh, this is it. This is it. Uh, if you if you like uh, the look, you can download it and then you can edit it with PowerPoint, Google Slides, or Keynote. So uh, let me do it while it is uh, downloading. Uh, maybe all right. Let me download it again. Hopefully we will get there. So the two ways of editing, uh, there are three, but I will show you how to edit uh, the publication with Keynote and, uh, and Google Slides. So let's uh, get to it. So in this case, so we are editing everything with, uh, with Keynote. So you can, um, you can edit everything uh, with this uh, particular editor. Move everything around, rewrite everything. And then if you are happy with, uh, with the final look, we can easily go and uh, export it as PDF. So the PDF is uh, the best, uh, I would say, for uh, uploading uh, for uploading on issue. In case you do not want to use uh, Keynote, you can also use PowerPoint or Google Slides. Google Slides, so let's... Uh, Start 
with Google Slides, you just find it on your device. All right, let's start again. All right, what we can also do is um, yeah, let's uh, let's use uh, let's use it in here. So what can be done is you can uh, replace the image. Hopefully we will get connected again. Edit everything in here. And again, once you're done, you can export everything as a PDF in here. So that's how to create your PDF in case you don't have your own yet. Uh, we also have this uh, new integration with Canva. So let's say that uh, you're again searching for a portfolio. Canva has hundreds, uh, hundreds of these. I've already started uh, with one in here. So we talked before about, uh, in case you just add text, uh, and it should be a website address, and you do not uh, have it hyperlinked, you can do so. And uh, the same also with, uh, with videos and links. So. All right, let me just uh, stop sharing for a bit. Hopefully my internet connection will get better. So you can see Canva has uh, hundreds of, um, of templates, but uh, I've already started uh, this one that you, already, uh, that you already saw. So uh, this is just text that I haven't hyperlinked. Uh, I would like to show you with auto-detected links how we can detect these links uh, on, uh, on issue. I also uh, told you about uh, adding uh, a link in here. So this will be detected. Uh, what I also want to show you is uh, how video plays uh, how video plays in um, in overlay. So I'm going to show you that uh, on issue. Perfect, and. Uh, then you can go and you can share, you can either download the publication as a PDF, but I told you about this integration that we have uh, with issue uh, with Canva. So it will get uh, uploaded on issue directly. You just need to connect uh, your Canva account and your issue account. And if we go under 
publications under drafts. I can see that it has been added. In here, you just edit the title. Add a description that's uh, always good for your SEO. So add, uh, add something important for um, your business, your brand, or anything like that. Under settings, you can set whether you want uh, the publication to be public or available, unlisted, which basically means that only people that you share the publication with will have uh, access to it, or you can also schedule it ahead that's available on premium plan. You can enable, uh, enable downloading for your readers. Uh, you can have uh, links detected. So I will turn this on. So this, uh, this website in here gets, uh, gets hyperlinked and uh, we will be able to click it. And uh, then if you are happy with how everything looks like, you can go ahead and you can publish the content. If we go under add links and videos, I can see that the videos have been added in here. What I would like to do, I would like this to play directly in the publication. Let's save these. Let's publish the changes. might still be in the safe mode <clears throat> review, so, but uh, let's have a look at uh, some other publication that I created. And let's change this one to be playing directly on the page. And let's change this to video playing just in overlay. Let's have a look at the publication. So here it is. This is the link that uh, we only typed in, but with all our auto detection, uh, this is clickable. And here's one video that plays uh, directly on the page. And one that plays uh, just in overlay. We also have this ability to add uh, other links inside of the publication. So again, let's use the older one. So go under add links and videos. And just draw a rectangle. And uh, let's say that uh, Pipa, uh, the architect, is also uh, selling uh, some posters. So at, let's add uh, this one in here. Always remember to save uh, the links. And we also have a table of content links. So let's say we want to send people directly to page uh, number 14. Oh, it's too many. So page number nine. And let's publish the changes and uh, let's view it. So you can see the shopping link. This can be useful in case you have a catalog, for example, in case you are selling something and uh, the table of content, the go-to page links in here, it can send people directly to a particular page. The last thing that I want to show is how to optimize your content into different formats. So again, if we go to the same publication that we uploaded before. It is uh, here on the repurpose. So you can create a GIF of this publication. You can select anything between two to five spreads of your publication set the background color in here. And here you can see the preview of how everything looks like. You can download this one as a, an MP4 or as a GIF file. And you can also share it directly, uh, export it directly to MailChimp. Tomorrow I will be showing you some examples of how uh, these 
gives a look in the MailChimp newsletter. So that's uh, something that we will be covering tomorrow, how to share and analyze the performance of your content. So this is, uh, this is a GIF. I would also like to show you uh, how to create visual stories. So we have three different templates, voice, inspire, and, and engage. Uh, again, what you need to do uh, in here, just select uh, some pages with some uh, nice visuals, uh, get to create uh, the visual story. This is a bit more uh, heavy compared to GIF. Under assets, you will be able to uh, drag and drop uh, the images, also rewrite uh, the boxes. And under preview, you can see how everything looks like. You can continue editing. Actually, you can add your own, uh, your own images. So let's say that um, I will add uh, these. These have to be JPEGs. So in case for you, for example, have, uh, have your logo that is not listed here under assets, you can, you can upload uh, your own logo. And then again, if you, if you go and have a look on the preview, you can see how everything looks like. And if you are happy with, uh, with the look, you go ahead and you create the story. And let me go back and uh, show you how to create article stories again from the same publication. If you scroll down in here a bit under article stories, click on create new article story. These are these smaller sections uh, of your publication. Uh, and uh, the biggest benefit I would say is that these are mobile optimized. So you select the pages where you want uh, uh, the, the segments to pick from. You click on include all segments, that, that is the easiest way uh, in here. You can change uh, the header image. You can play around in here, recreate stuff into quotes, uh, paragraphs, uh, headlines. And then under settings, always remember, add the title, add a description that's good for your SEO. And uh, under preview, you can see how, uh, how everything looks like. You can still continue editing everything, but if you're happy with the, with the look, you can go ahead and you can publish your content. Tomorrow, we will be talking about how to share it further, right? That this is, this is basically what we, just, uh, what we just created. You can share this smaller individual piece of your publication. Uh, across your social media, in your newsletters, for example, just use this link and everyone who clicks on that link, they will get to this enhanced version. And I also have the visual story that we created uh, in here. In the meantime, let me just have a look at the, at the Q&A. Yeah, uh, so there's a question, how, how can I share these? We will be talking about how to share all this content uh, tomorrow. But uh, the visual stories can be either shared as a link or you can also download these uh, while you created them and uh, then share these as MP4 videos. You see, there are more questions. <clears throat> so not at the moment. Uh, yeah, but here it is again, what we just created. Again, the, the biggest benefit of, uh, of the story is that you can create everything on issue. You do not, have, you do not need any external tool and, uh, and everything will also be stored uh, under that particular publication if we go there, uh, if we go there. You will have the article stories listed below in here. And uh, you will also have, uh, have access to, uh, to the visual stories that you created. So let me now jump back to the presentation. <clears throat> so what we talked about, how to create your PDFs in case you don't have one, how to use issue templates, how to use Canva. And we also talked about how to optimize your content, how to add links, how to add videos, and also how to optimize your content for uh, different channels using these different uh, assets, uh, these, uh, these editors on issue. We showed you how to 
use uh, how to create GIF and how to create article stories and uh, visual stories. I mentioned in the very beginning that we have this offer for anyone who is attending the Issue Academy. Uh, this offer is for everyone who wants to jump on premium plan. So the first year on premium can be with 30% off and the premium features, we will actually be covering most of these tomorrow. Embedding on website, full screen reader, no ads around the reader, videos in publications. So the video plays directly on the page, full access to statistics. So this is something that we will be covering tomorrow. You can enable downloading for your readers so they can download the publication directly when they are flipping through the pages uh, on issue. They can also download, uh, download this and you can also schedule your publications ahead and you have these auto detected links available on the premium plan. So <clears throat> if you would like to jump on premium annual, just uh, click on this. I have a promo code right before you click on pay 480 and type in workshops 30 the text here in red and you can get 30% off. You can also wait for our follow-up email that will go out on Friday and uh, with uh, with a link that will be included in there, you can also upgrade or you can reach out to me in case you have, uh, you have any issues finding out uh, how to upgrade with 30% off. So thanks again for joining. Let me see if there are any questions. Uh, I cannot see any at the moment. So thanks for joining. The, the motto of issue is create one share everywhere. So the only thing that's unique is the PDF that you upload on issue and then uh, the magic starts, right? And uh, you can recreate it into all these uh, dynamic assets and, uh, and interactive content. Uh, someone says, thank you. So you're very welcome. Uh, please fill in the survey <clears throat> that will be there at the, the very end of this workshop. Uh, let, let us know in case this was helpful for you, if there are any other workshop topics that you would like to see, or if there's any additional feedback, I would be very happy to hear it. And uh, based on uh, you know, all these insights, uh, we can also recreate some, uh, some new upcoming uh, webinar topics and workshop topics. So thanks again, hope to see most of you tomorrow because tomorrow we will be talking about sharing and analyzing everything. So see you tomorrow on Wednesday. Thanks for joining. Have a great rest of the day and uh, good luck with uh, publishing. Bye.